Yes, yeah, sir, man. You know, roll my hair out. This outline had come over here and chop me up, no cap. Yeah, I see you did the thing, man. Hey, make sure y'all get a cut, on boy. You did. Hey, wait. This is Let's go, go, go. It's another K Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. Hey, look, I got a video for y'all today. It's introducing my products, but I'll show you how to do a lineup along with it. And uh, I'm using my boy right here of uh, Carmen and Corey, or Corm Corey and Carmen, or CJ So Smooth, or Corey Pritchard Jr., whatever. You know, he, he had a couple different names, but you I know you've seen him. you all over YouTube. He's all over Instagram, all over Facebook, you know, so I decided to use him because he has a nice set. You know, it's, he keeps up with his hair, you know what I'm saying? If you know him, you know he's serious about his hair, so he needed a haircut, so I went over to his house, cut his hair, and you know, if you look in the beginning of my intro video, you see that I, I've been cut Corey a long time ago. Uh, I used to cut him often, uh, now I don't cut him as much, he moved away. From the area but his other barber is pretty good too so he, you know he got two barbers me and the other guy i don't really know his name but he does a good job also so it's always good to go behind another barber that's equally as gifted as you are so it's not a lot to do you know so all I did was do the taper and, and the lineup he didn't get anything cut off the top I wanted to show y'all the whole haircut but uh, the way the lighting was set up, I didn't set the camera up right, and the light was reflecting into the camera, so it kind of made it hard to see. So I decided to just show you the edge up and some of the line up. But you can see the table right there clearly. And y'all seen other videos from here. I'll put a, a link up, a card up at the end, and uh, if you want to see other tapers that I did. The two products I'm gonna show y'all today. I got a detailing mist for barbers. If you know, you want to use something to make the edge up super crispy. And then I got my wave pomade. You know, my 360 waves pomade. You can put in their hair and make they make their waves pop. You know what I mean? That's that's what we're doing. I told you this whole year. We can detail and finesse. And that's why I said that my my spray right here is called detail and mess. I'm gonna show y'all. And it will be for sale sometime this week. I'll make a post on YouTube just to let you know where you can go get it from. It's gonna be on probably Shopify and Amazon so be on the lookout look out for my post and you'll be able to get some so anyway so what you want to do is before you start that the lineup you can use this two ways right before you start the lineup you want to spray the front of the lineup the edges of it because what it's gonna do is it's gonna make it dry enough to where when you hit it it's gonna be so crispy, so icy, you don't need nothing, right? It's like, it's almost like you're using a razor when you do. You see, I got my mask on and thing, playing in the camera and everything, but it's almost like you using a razor blade, how it makes the lineup look, you know, and because it makes it really dry and it makes it stay in place. So, you see me use similar products like this, but I had mine changed up just a little bit, but it, it does some of the similar to the, some of the other stuff that I used before. But anyway, so when you're getting ready to do your lineup, you put that on first and then you just do your normal lineup like you do, right? And you'll see once my hand is out the way, how sharp it is, you know, and I'm not really doing too much. I'm barely tapping it, you know, um, if you want to, you know, knock down the front just to make the where the curls where it don't curl up. You know, the waves go all the way to the front on Corey head, but I left it just like it was. So you see how sharp that is already, right? So that's what this does. If you want to get super clean, super neat lineups, this is it. This is the product that you want. You see how sharp it is. 
detailed, very detailed. That's why I call it detail and miss because that's what you want. You want it to be detailed. That's what separates a fifteen dollar haircut from a thirty dollar haircut. It's the detail, how sharp everything is. Somebody cutting in the garage, their haircut is probably not that sharp. You see that? So this is what separates you from other barbers and what gets you to the dollar amount that you want to charge among other things right so i let you see it from the front and then also i turn them to the side so you can see how it works from the side also now this is before enhancements Corey likes enhancements we put them on because he's always on the camera so he want to look good at all times like the rest of us you know i even use it on my beard so anyway this is before enhancements you know you can see how sharp everything is when i put the enhancements on it's just gonna make everything else pop right so we're not doing any kind of pushback or anything like i said the hair comes off very easily when you're using this product and uh i got a couple people that i'm gonna send this out to just because they've been loyal followers from the beginning uh so i already inboxed a couple people that i wanted to just send it to just on gp and um i probably do a giveaway on all of these products you know probably ever so often just something to give back for people that's following and you know commenting and you know once i see you comment a lot and all that stuff then i i know who is who so you know be on the lookout if you want to get products some free products and things like that just make sure you're commenting and, and, and then i recognize that and then i inbox you or send you something so anyway so this is what it does i also have shampoo conditioner beard oil you'll see all this throughout my next few videos but you see how crispy everything is right you agree let me know in the comments let me know you know so in the other side we do the exact same thing i just let you watch right now and see what's going on now the key to doing lineups is just really visualizing where you want to put the line you know so it's, it's not you know rocket science or anything like that you know uh, sometimes you need to go back some sometimes you don't it all depends whatever you feel like is right and whatever the client is happy with that's what you go with you know so i've i cut so many people in different lineups i've seen everything you know so nothing really rattles me at all so for you once you get confident in what you're doing you know it's just about you know being confident in doing a lineup a lot of people when they doing lineups they're not confident in it, confident in you know their technique i would say so it's all about just being confident in your technique taking your time and seeing what it is right i i call myself mr outliner because i wanted to be you know an outliner you know what i mean and I, I wanted to have sharp lines and sharp edges, you know what I mean? So that's what I focus on in order to become who I am, you know what I mean? So a lot of these celebrities I cut, people always ask, man, how do you get them in? You know, I, I didn't do anything special, bro. All I did was post my haircuts on Instagram. And I posted my haircuts on Instagram, and everybody came to me. You see all the people that I cut in the beginning, and that's not even all of them. That's just some of them, you know what I mean? Chris Sales, uh, King Kaza, Corey, Black Youngster, Young and Ace. You know, I this is, you know, they found me on Instagram or word of mouth, Funny Mike, all these people, you know what I mean? So, it, it, if you put your time in, get you a system down, believe in your system, your technique, it'll all work out for you. So, get... It, it's just a matter of process and time and you wanting to do it and during this stay at home thing that they got us on this is the time to really focus and hone in on your skills right and don't don't be discouraged if it's not coming out exactly how you want it right away because it takes time but after a while you'll get it you know what i mean i spend the most time on my lineups the fading part is very easy you know what i mean but when you're doing a lineup you really have to take your time in detail right so y'all see the edge of right now you see it's still coming out good 
on the sides we we just barely tapping it. it it makes a line even if it's not that much hair right there you can see that it still makes a line right it, we barely tapping it i'm using my wild detailers i told y'all about this blade any any clipper that you use you just want to make sure it has a deep tooth blade right these deep tooth blades are going to help you in making sharp lines that's another thing make sure you're using the corner of the blade also now here i'm using a little bit of hair fiber right here i'm gonna put the hair fiber on tap it again tap his line again and then we're going to use the detailing mist to lock in the hair fibers also so not only does it help you detail the lineup it helps you lock in the fibers also so you, you see how much of a difference this is going to be once you use enhancements because it, it just they go together so detailers with my detailing mist and hair fibers you can't lose right you know what i'm saying look at this just that's why i wanted to use somebody who had good hair they take care of their hair you know they care about their appearance you want somebody that cares about their appearance you can see it, it's not a lot of work once you do that so this is the detailing spray again spray it on boom locked in won't come out you'll see once i put the put the 360 waves on them what it look like you know what i mean it's not going to come out it's going to stay right there so it stays in for about a day or two right we all know hair fibers when you comb it or brush it it's going to eventually come out and that's just what it is so this is a temporary thing when you want to like he's shooting videos so for his next day and a half of videos two days of videos he's going to be super sharp and if you go to his live he was on live the whole time so if you if you went to his live or you saw it on his live he said that it, it was going to be on one of his videos so be be sure to go look at his videos and you probably see me doing the haircut on his videos also so you see that you see how sharp everything is you see how the detail in this helps you out right there along with the fiber crispy nice you feel me anyway Hit them with the holding spray again, bam, good. It doesn't burn, you know, like most holding sprays or whatever. So you can use it even on kids if you needed to, right? So you see that? Okay, now you see his hair before I put it in the 360 waves. You can kind of see he has a little, some waves there. But once I put this 360 waves pomade in, it's going to really pop. So all you got to do is wait and see. But first, before you do that, you want to trim any wild hairs that's sticking up. If you want to use scissors, that's fine. I just chose to use my trimmers, right? So he looking at it in his, in his uh, phone right now. But anyway, you see, I pretty much don't need to do nothing. You see, like, you see what the work does. You know what I'm saying? When you take your time with the edge up and use deep tooth on your blades, you see what kind of lineup you can achieve. So right here is the 360 wave pomade. Check it out. How y'all like the packaging on this thing? The packaging, man. You know what I'm saying? We black and red, you know what I mean? You know, so I wanted to just create something that barbers could use and I also wanted to create something that clients could use also. You know, so here we go, look at it. Boom, close up. Now, you can see that the waves automatically, as soon as it touches head, start popping out. You see that right and this smells terrific right so look you see the way it's already popping and i ain't really did nothing to it i ain't even brush it because i didn't have my brush with me but i didn't even brush it if i had my brush and i brushed it in the waves would really 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 just pop out and you see that the hair fiber didn't go anywhere i'm rubbing the edges the hair fiber still there because the holding the detailing mist the, is also a holding spray at the same time you see it locks it in right and everything goes together you see that you see how this waves just popped out so you know check that out you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know in the comments what you think how do you think what you think about the product 
and about the haircut. You know, just let me know what you think overall. And don't forget, uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love. Yes, sir, man. You know, warm my hair. This outline had to come over here and chop me up. Don't cap. Yeah, I see you did the thing, man. Hey, make sure y'all get a cut, my boy. You did. Hey, wait.